My name is uh, Engineer Cletus Obona Echo. I am uh, the Managing Director of C Plus Industries Limited and also the Team Lead Waste to Wealth Enhancer Innovation. My mission statement it is to develop a mechanism that will sanitize Nigeria, indeed, Africa of environmental health hazards, reduce global warming and greenhouse effects, improve aquatic life, and positively impact the economy via waste management and wealth creation. Our vision statement reads us. We say it is to achieve a better and more sustainable future devoid of environmental degradation and climate change, but encouraging systematic world creation approach. We have a mantra that says, save the eight. The waste to wealth enhancer has to do with uh, what we call four R's. The four R simply means recycling, reducing, reusing and repairing your waste. After my training in UK by Royal Academy of uh, Engineering in London, we have now introduced machines like the trash uh, bin. We have the one we just designed that is uh, four segments. The one that will take care of organic waste, metal cans, pepper, plastics. If you don't uh, kind of segment the waste, it will become a problem to the collectors. This particular place will be for metal cans. And the person who is coming to collect will just collect this, knowing full well that this is metal can. If he wants to dump it another place, he will just pour it where metal cans are. Then this is for peppers. No need of mixing peppers with other ways. Anything pepper. Once you come to dispose, you put your pepper here. This one is for kitchen waste. That is why it is written here and drawn. Every organic waste will be disposed here. Here is for plastics. And this plastics we made it clear that the paint and the ordinary type of plastic can go here for now. So this is what we are doing right now. We've now designed a kind of dust remover, metal remover that vibrates. When it is vibrating, uh, the dust is removed. At the end of the day, you have a better quality crushed that you can use. This machine is for filtering equipment in waste management. A kind of a metal collector. During the filtration, it's expected that the magnet here will collect those metals. But then the sand, the dust, and every other thing, every other particle, is expected to fall out from here. After the training, I also came back and decided to start producing my own shopping bag that is of high quality. Yeah, here is a recycling center for waste. And um, if you look around, you will see a lot of waste that are gathered here. People bring waste here, waste plastics, and is uh, sorted and um, the grinding is done. The machines I'm going to show you now are machines fabricated by C Plus Industries Limited, 100%. And that is what we are doing to make sure that these machines are available so that people can use them. The 
This is one of the machines fabricated by C Plast. This is what we call CPL Bulldozer. It's the biggest machine we fabricated as far as crushing is concerned. This machine can give you 250 kg per hour. And 250 kg per hour means that just a day you are going to have two tons if you work from morning till evening. And this crushing is very, very okay. It crushes various types of plastics. This one can crush pet bottle, it can crush uh, blow, it can crush injection, it can crush whatever. The broken chairs you have seen here, it can crush them and it is very, very fast in the crushing. It's called CPL Bulldozer. We are very, very proud of this because about uh, five factories are using them and they are very, very happy with the output. You know, because of uh, electricity, if you have a machine that uh, has a low output, uh, at the end of the day, you may not break even when you are making your production. But because of the high output, this machine, you know, has uh, proved uh, its metal. We also have this as CPL Chopper 2. Why we call it Chopper is that different types of plastic, the ones that look like stone, all this plastic now, they look like stone. Mm. They look like stone. Yeah. This machine can crush them and you get what you want. You, see, you can see the output here. You can see it here. That's what it has crushed. That's this particular thing here. So we call it CPL Chopper 2. Yes. Every part of this machine is locally sourced. We have the electric motors, which we just buy from the open market. But inside here, you see the arrangement, you see the bearing, you see everything. And one other good thing is that our machines are detachable. You can detach these machines the way you want. You can see the bros. For instance, this one now, you can see all these things, you can detach them. So I am proud that uh, today Nigeria as a country will not lack uh, plastic recycling machines. Apart from crushing, you are aware that we also do agglomerating, agglomerating machine. We also do blow film machine. That is the one that produces polythene. And uh, we also do the metal can compressing machine. Royal Academy of Engineering granted us the opportunity to be trained uh, in business and that was why we were in London. After that training, I got so motivated. The motivation is that the training has made me to come up with this. The training has also made me to go beyond recycling and now talk of having a recycling center like this place. And now beyond that, we now do a kind of waste management enlightenment. We now enlighten people on how to manage their waste. Beyond this, a lot of youths have been employed. For c -plast alone, we have not less than 150 indirect workers. Then people, school leavers, uh, young graduates, you see them using even small equipment we have made. They don't need to have all the machines, just use one. Job opportunities are created, which is very, very important. from the Tolu This is West, and it used to produce other things. After drinking, anywhere I go, I pick them. After picking them, I bring them here to crush them. It helped me to train my children and to feed. I do sell them. If I have like on cross 20 bags, after crushing them, I'll now have like 5 bags. In a month, this type of thing I'm doing right now, it will give me like 60,000. My children are still with me, but my husband is late. He died in 1998. For me to get this machine, I paid him 50,000 naira. 
I got it from C Plus. The good thing the man did for me, the man is so good to me. I paid instrumental until I complete the payment. This machine helps me to work out these things. This machine has big ones, but this one is the one poor people can afford. It has big ones, and they have the one that uses electric, and big men use those ones. And this is the one I can afford. There are other people he produces it for, especially widows. He uses it to help them. Since he produces this machine for me, there has not been any fault or problem from it. The place I'm working this thing is in front of my house. I don't need a workshop. So after working them out, I'll call them, they'll come and pick them, and they will pay me. Sometimes when I go out, I pick them and sometimes little children, when they pick, I'll collect from them and whenever I go for occasions, I'll pick as much as I can. We pick them and after picking them, they buy in bags. Even pure water sachets, we pick them and after picking them, we bring them for caution and use them to produce nylon. Even this chair that is here, if I have a broken one, I'll take them for caution and after crushing them, they use it to produce other things. We are encouraging the use of recycled plastics. Those things, they use the virgin materials to produce. If they use recycled materials to produce them, it means that the production of those virgin materials will not take place. We fabricate the machines that pelletize this. You see, this particular pelletized material now can be used to produce nylon 100% recycled without adding even 1% of virgin. And this makes the thing to be cheap, extremely cheap. This is C Plus shopping bag. You see it now. This is what we used, 100% of this, to produce this shopping bag. We make more money from this than those people who will tell you to use 50% of virgin and 50% uh, uh, of recycled. We use this 100%. This is how the, the way we test. You see it now. You can see. You cannot. Because as waste managers, we know the type of waste we will use. This pure water you see here and there. You can use them to produce agri planting bags. We produce it for domestic waste collector. To start with, this is 100% recycled. We also have some other things like interlock. Wherever you see CPL, you know that I fabricated the mold. So this is 100% recycled. And what you are seeing now is 100% recycled material 100% nothing is added this aluminum compressing machine, manual one. So, the first one we did is just one unit. But this is an uh, innovation upon the one we did before. It's an improvement. So we decided to make it uh, two in one. That if you buy one machine, two people can operate it. So that is why you can see two people here. This one compresses one at a time. This one compresses two at a time. This machine, we call it metal can compressing machine for waste management.
When you get a million can, before compressing it, it's usually long. Then after compressing, you see, you see the size now. When you pack this in a bag, it occupies much space. But when you compress, the space is reduced and it accommodates more. And what do they use this a million can for? We too, as a, an engineering shop, we use it. We use this machine for melting in our furnace. So, after melting this particular can, you can use it to form aluminum bigots. You can also use it to form aluminum block. When the heaters are on, the temperature controller controls the temperature you set and so this is the type of waste that is poured here. If you pour, because this place has gotten heated, it will come out from here. The whole thing will come out from here and take the shape, it can come in a form of a rope lines, flats, whatever, and enter inside the water. This bag is filled with water. And when it's entered, it will be coming to this place for it to come out. So this particular one now is going to handle flat unit. That is why it doesn't have copper yet. But this is a pulley ruler that will draw that one. That when it comes out, you now cut to the size you want. This is CPL chopper one. It chops all types of plastics. Boots, HD, PVC, paint, any type of plastic you put here. This machine crushes it. So uh, it has this electric motor, it has all the things. It also has a safety precaution like chopper 2. Chopper 1 and chopper 2, even the bulldozer, we introduce safety in such a way that if the machine is on and you happen to open this, instead of the machine to cut your hand, the machine will switch up. So that is what has been inculcated. So this is an improvement on this. I showed the video of this one. This is what we call CPL boy. CPL boy or boy CPL as the case may be. It's just a small crusher for maybe somebody who just want to stay in his room or her room to be doing crushing can use this one. While if you're growing, Maybe you've got into a certain stage, you can graduate to this.